Open Dali is pretty cool, so I think we should give it a shot. Hello, my friends, how are you doing? Today I have Open Dali for you. Pretty interesting model based on stable diffusion. It has some very interesting qualities that we are going to look into today. Also, why do I have my glasses like this? Well, if I have them normally, you see the reflections of my studio lights. That's not good. This is why I put them up higher. So there's a little bit of an angle and the light is reflected downwards. Let's get started. So first things first, here we have on Hugging Face the Open Dali version 1.1 model. You can see here some example images. The prompt is below. For some reason, you can't really select the prompt, but what you can do here is you can right click on it and then click click on inspect, you open up this here on the side and then you click here. This is the prompt. You want to click that so it's blue and then you can simply control copy it on your keyboard to have that text copied and then you can use it of course over in automatic 1111 or in ConfUI, whatever you want. Something they are promising here is that Open Dali is sticking to the prompt like a glue. Now we have to look into that if that is really true or not, but it certainly has some interesting qualities in that regard. They also give you some advice about the CFG scale, about the steps you should be using, about the sampler and about the scheduler. Now the scheduler you can set individually in ConfUI, you cannot set it individually inside of Automatic 1111, but they there you have different choices that still work well for you. Inside of Automatic 1111, you simply load it like another model. I would set the SDVAE to automatic because I found with a different VAE, it doesn't really work so well. And then just use here your settings, your prompt, everything you want. You can also upscale it to give it some more better quality. Now let's have a look into the sample images that I have prepared for you. And one thing that this model stands out with is the creation of text. So here we have a first row for a logo with the text hello world and some nice graphic design around that. Here we have the prompt I'm using for that. You have to put hello world into round brackets and then text logo with a weight of one with another round bracket and then you write the style after that and that seems to work really well. Next we have here another image. Now here I gave specific information about what I want to have and it followed it pretty closely. So let's look at the prompt first. Here we have a raw photo portrait of a modern woman with short blonde hair, red round glasses in a blue shirt. Background is a luxurious room with bokeh. Let's go back to the image and you can see here actually we got exactly that. So we have red round glasses, short blonde hair, we have a blue shirt and we have a nice modern room with bokeh in the background. Now I would say there's a little bit of color spilling in the background because we see we have a red carpet and then we also have blue walls in the background. So it's picking up on the colors that I mentioned before. So I make a variation of that prompt. So here the prompt is the same but it says luxurious green room with bokeh. Now if you look here at the image, you can see again, we have some color spilling in here because now we have a bluish green shirt. We have a green background, but we also have blue elements in the background. So it doesn't exactly stick to the details we put into the prompt. Of course, controlling color inside of a prompt in an image is pretty complex, so it's still not too bad. One thing I was surprised by though is the face expression. So here we have a man that is screaming angrily with an open mouth. First of all, very nice open mouth, very nice rows of teeth in here. They look almost perfect, pretty nice. The face expression also is angry. He's leaning forwards. There is emotion expression. This is actually very good. Here we have the prompt for that. Angry men with mouth wide open screaming. And then as a comparison for another face expression, I wanted to have a woman that is looking disgusted. And this is actually working very well here. It actually is this face expression. And you will find that face expressions, especially if they are subtle, if they want to give you information about what the emotion is at that moment, is pretty complex to do with AI. It's not an easy task here. It is done very well. 
We have a very simple prompt for that woman looking disgusted. Nothing special to it. Next, we have here some other styles. We have an anime style here. I wanted here to have a laughing female devil. So that worked pretty well. Everything in here looks pretty amazing. Again, in this case, we have a very simple prompt here, anime female devil laughing. And then as an alternative, I wanted to have an angry female devil also. And I have to say, again, the face expression is pretty good and is actually what I would expect from this kind of expression and emotion in the face. Again, very simple prompt here, anime female devil angry. I also wanted to try another art style, the famous GTA 5 art style. And this looks very good, very close. And here I wanted to try something. We have a black man with blonde hair. And I wanted to try this because often the model can stick too close to the trained images. So it might be difficult for some ethnicities to get different hair colors, but in this case actually work pretty well. Now the nice detail here also is that the other black men in the background don't have blonde hair, only our main actor here. That's also very nice detail. And we have dance as a text in the background, also pretty cool. Here we have our prompt for that portrait of a black man with blonde hair standing in a dance club GTA 5 concept art style. And then I wanted to have a variation of this where we have a buff man. He's also black, he also has blonde hair, but he is very muscular. And again, this worked very well and it turned out really amazing from the art style. And here we have the prompt. It's basically the same as before, but now it is portrait of a buff black man with blonde hair. This time I also have a Google document for you when you can find all of the prompts that I'm using. So you can simply copy them over if you want to. Also included my negative prompt, which is simply ugly and deformed, nothing special there. And I will link this document below the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about this model. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.